Yo, what's going on, y'all? We got another reaction video today. We got Colin's top 10 teams for week four. Reacting to the herd hierarchy. Uh, oh, wrong one. Wrong one. Go ahead and see uh, his thoughts uh, on this past week and who he's ranking as his top team. So, let's see, y'all. Let's see. Time is now. Let's go. The top 10 NFL teams, according to Colin. Number 10. All right, don't sell your Minnesota Vikings stock. They have the Saints and the Bears coming the Vikings up. Vikings is get 10. Really, really healthy. Their only loss came on the road to the Eagles, and a lot of people think the Eagles are the best team in the league. Now, their defense is an issue. They hired an offensive coach. They have regressed defensively. They're giving up like 415 yards. The Vikings at the 10th best team. I'm gonna let him. I'm gonna let him talk. Game. Don't, mm. don't sell all what do y'all think here? They're gonna get healthy. Schedule lightens up. They did thump the Packers. Vikings at ten. Number nine. The Rams. I have them lower than everybody else. I think they're sloppy. I think they are missing their center. Uh, downgrade at left tackle. Cam Akers fumbled again at the goal line. Is Allen Robinson washed? He can't get open. I, I like. I got mixed feelings, but I don't know. Like I don't. I, it's not clicking in my head who all to expect is in the top 10 right now, besides the Dolphins, Bills, of course, Ravens, of course, Bucks, of course, Packers. Those are shoe wins. Now, as far as ranking, uh, I'm going to just speak when I have a problem. Uh, Van Jefferson's out for another month and a half. Now, Matthew Stafford has a lot of picks, but he also leads the NFL, completing 72% of his throws. So Stafford gives you... I just checked that earlier. The penthouse and the outhouse. It's the classic. You get great and you get some trouble. But they're giving the ball away this year. Seven giveaways through three games. They're too sloppy. I think he only threw two... Their uh, head coach uh, two and picks in three games is enough. Games right now. They're not right. The fact they're in the top 10, and I and I think they've got a million questions, speaks to how good McVay and the overall culture of the organization is. I have them nine. Number eight. An inch behind the Bucks. Bucks are going to be really mm. good. They're just not healthy. Here's how you know the Bucks are good. Number one scoring defense. I don't, I don't know if I if I like that with the Bucks being at eight. I think I'll put them higher, honestly. ...in the NFL and the most takeaways in the NFL. So the, the side that Brady doesn't play for, is nails they're gonna be really good top three four team in the league they're just not healthy i took them this week and then i found out mike evans and julio jones could also not play if they were healthy they would have beaten the packers they were missing evans goodwin julio jones come what do y'all think about that honestly i think they need to pick up who are who are, who are the free agents right now like free agent receivers let me see free agents What's that website I went to? NFL. There's a website I was using at one point. Is it Spot Track? Spot Spot Track? I think this is it actually. Tells you like all of the all of the free agents that's out there. Oh no, I think it was over the cap. I think there was this one here actually. Yeah, it was over the cap. I like this website. It's pretty pretty good. Uh let's see who. 2023. No, 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 no. Who's not on the team right now for receivers? I can't see. Can I? It's not showing me. It's not showing me who. Uh, reset. Let me reset it real quick. Go to receivers. Yeah, no, nah, it's not showing me. It's just showing me everybody who I signed. I want to see who are some of the uh, free agent options out there right now. Because I feel like it's a lot of guys. Uh, hold on. Uh, top 100 available free agents. There we go. That's a good list. We got Odell. Antonio Brown, of course. Odell 29, AB 34. Chris Harris, oh, T.Y. is out there, but T.Y. is 32. Will Fuller, if he if he's healthy, that's a that's an option. It's just, I ain't going to lie. I don't know if I've ever seen a receiver injured as much as Will, bro. Isaiah Ford, mm, Muhammad Sanu, Deshaun Jackson. 
The shine was decent when he played. Willie Sneed. Sneed's decent. Keelan Cole. Oh, that that'd be a solid pickup. John Ross. It's okay. It's not as many as I thought. Like I thought it was some bigger names out there. If they can get an Odell, hypothetically bring A B back, that'd be an interesting conversation, but we'll see. Come on. You can't take away the like you want as many receivers as you can get. I feel like at this point, just to make sure you know you got somebody there, you know. Receivers for a team and ask them to beat a competent quarterback, a competent team like Green Bay. Bucks are fine. Number seven. But I like the Niners roster more. The Niners offense is the only had two three and outs all year. I don't know about this. The whole season. With with Trey Lance and Garoppolo, how good is their personnel? Only two three and outs all year. Lowest percentage in the NFL. Mm. Also, their defense, the only team in the league holding people under four yards a play. They are stacked defensively, stacked at weapons. Do not love their offensive line. And Trent Williams. Four yards a play. Let me see. 49er schedule. I know they just held the uh, Broncos to 11 points. Uh, Seahawks beat them. No, no, they beat the Seahawks. It held the, the Seahawks to seven. Are oh, they doing good? Okay, 49ers. So, oh, Bears, 19. That's, that's the most they got scored on them so far. All right, we'll see. This is out. I would put them like three, but right now their offensive line is in I don't flux. Know, bro. But they do have the Panthers and the Falcons okay. coming up after the Rams. And I and I I like their chances against the Rams. This is a really it's a good argument. Buffalo level roster, seven for the Niners. Number six. Bengals got this right. We argument. predicted it. They're fine. Uh, they've run more offensive plays than anybody in the league. No. They're top ten in scoring defense. No. Joe Burrow last two games, no picks, four touchdowns. Now they've got to run the ball better, and they're still making too many mistakes. But again. We're going to know a lot about this. You can game. jump them up later. Right now, I wouldn't put the, the Bengals above the Buccaneers and the 49ers. I don't, I don't think I'd do that. Who, Buccaneers, 49ers. Let me see. Who, who else was up there? The Buccaneers, 49ers. And... Sorry, uh, Rams? You got the Bengals ahead of all of them? I don't know about that, bro. More offensive plays than anybody in the league. They're top 10 in scoring defense. Joe Burrow last two games, no picks, four touchdowns. Now, they've got to run the ball better, and they're still making too many mistakes. But again, we're going to know a lot about this team in the next two weeks because they host the weary, the tired Dolphins this week, then it's the Ravens. So maybe I'm a little high on them. I think I Dolphins are second half take them down. against the Cowboys, and I watch the Jets game, and they feel right to me. Weapons, quarterback, tackles, pass rush, they feel right to me. Number five. I'll give the Dolphins credit. Only remaining undefeated AFC team. But the Dolphins the at five? Them. Last 12 games, Dolphins are 11 and one. They're winning games. I'm going to let them talk. What do I always say? We put ahead of them. Dolphins at five. So you got Bills, you got Packers, Ravens. Who else am I missing? Bills, Packers, Ravens, Eagles. You taking the Bills? You see, so he's saying the Bills are still better. Okay. Packers are better. Arguable. Aaron Rodgers. So, mm, you know, you can argue that. Ravens, they just beat the Ravens. Well, they came back on. Would, would the Ravens allow another comeback like that again? I don't know. It's all of this is it's it's it's, it's, it's opinionated. So it's like you really state a good argument for anything, really. Mm. Got to be productive as a quarterback. I don't care what it looks like. like I feel like I feel like you, you, you now. Could, they're going you to could persuade me a little week. bit. I think they're in trouble. On, on, by and any I of those. Be honest, first three games. To his passer ratings, the, he's the only guy over 100. He's doing he's doing the breeze thing, and he's got great weapons. So I, I'm not, I don't think Miami's a championship team, but we have to. I picked him to make the playoffs. This looks like a playoff team to me. Number four. I still think the Ravens are really yeah. really good. I thought Ravens. they outplayed Miami. Their defense is it's gonna is be struggling. 
But a lot of that is on the back end. I'm about say it'd be a test for them this week playing the Bills, but the Bills are injured, so I don't know. I, I'm gonna pick the Ravens in that one. That's an early prediction for y'all. But they have the number one scoring offense in the league. They have 12 offensive touchdowns. They're the opposite of the New York Giants. They get into the end zone. <laughs> the Ravens get into the end zone. Also, who leads the NFL in passer rating? Their quarterback, Lamar. So they're scuffing on the back end of their defense. That's why I can't make them a top three team. This is a really explosive team. They don't settle for field goals, folks. They get in the red zone. They give you seven. In the end, that's what that's what I say about Daniel Jones. You got to give me points. You got to give me touchdowns. They give them to you. Number three, Kansas City. Most of that loss to the Colts was special. Chiefs. Teams. It was so it's not the Packers. They muffed a punt. They missed an extra point. They had a fake field goal not work. They missed a 34-yard field goal. That's why they lost the game. They had a bad I forgot about the Chiefs. Sunday. But they have 10 offensive touchdowns. Only the Ravens and the Lions have more. They have the best sack differential, so they're getting to the other quarterback. They're fine. They're fine. They had a really bad special team Sunday, and it happens. Number two. Philadelphia. Number one total offense. So you got the Bills at one. 49% of their third downs. Jalen Hurts is hard to defend. They move the sticks. They pick up first downs, keeping your quarterback off the field. Jalen, here's the other thing I like. Jalen Hurts leads the NFL passing yards per attempt. So don't tell me he's thrown underneath and playing it safe. He is throwing it down the field, yards per attempt and yards per completion. The Eagles lead. This is a big play offense. They are they're like a little bit like Cincinnati last year. They're taking big swings downfield. And that's for a quarterback that we thought uh, accuracy issues. It, it's not an issue. They are a big play offense. O lines playing great. D line D lines getting that. They may have the best combination of O line D line in the NFL. No. Hold on, hold on, hold on. What do y'all think about that? He said the Chiefs might have the best combination of O line and D line. What's your What's your thoughts on that? Because uh, I don't know if I agree with that completely. Uh. Mm. Best O line and D line combination. Lions have a nice O line D line combination. Eagles for sure. I ain't gonna lie. Y'all take the Chiefs D line over the Eagles D line? I don't know. You could throw Cowboys in that conversation. They've been getting crazy sacks as of lately. I don't know if I take the Chiefs. Buffalo. Oh, he was just talking about the Eagles. I'm tripping. Wow. Listen, they've won 20 of the oh, last not paying attention. games by blowouts. They're the Mike Tyson. Don't have much of a jab, but if you're not prepared, it's over in the second round. They've gained 77 first downs. They have the best point differential. They have the best passing offense. I don't love their offensive line, and they are too Josh Allen-centric. But my eyes tell me... That's the best looking roster in the league with an unbelievable quarterback. Um, and the other thing is, there's. Yeah, I take Bills number one right now. Like, they good, but with all the injuries defensively, I don't know if I do that right now. <clears throat> I might take Chiefs over them at the moment. So beat up defensively. They were missing three starters in the secondary in the Miami Heat. It's like, I don't know if his criteria is consistent for, for his picks, you know? Because if you go like, okay, if these teams was completely healthy, then that's how we're going to rank it. Okay, well, how about if, is it that or is it how the team is playing right now? Is it that or is it this team's potential by the end of the season? Is it that or, you know, like who was just the best team this week, you know? I don't really know his criteria. So you had more, you had, you had less talented guys playing more snaps, and then they, they were missing two or three starters on the defensive line. So you were, they were so thin going to Miami. When you go to Miami in September, you're not facing the Dolphins. You're facing the Heat and the Dolphins. So I think Buffalo's still number one. Hi, everybody. Thanks for watching. Subscribe here to get the latest. Okay, so uh, what's your thoughts, man? What's your thoughts? Let's see. Fix it.
So we got the Vikings 10, Rams 9, Bucks 8, Niners 7, Bengals 6, Dolphins 5, Ravens 4, Chiefs 3, Eagles 2, Bills 4. One through five, I'm okay with. Ten through six could be a different order. Um, I probably, I probably put the Eagles and the Chiefs ahead of the Bills right now, just for right now at the moment. Uh, just cause, just cause of the injuries on defense. Like if they played them today, you know, who would win? Um. I like his argument with the with the Bills and the Dolphins. Like the Bills are a better team. They just injured. So I mean in that case you'll put the Dolphins ahead too. But I take the Dolphins as dang, it's so many different ways you can argue it for real. It's just it, it had to be a consistent criteria, and I don't know if that's consistent. Anything's consistent really. But it's a solid top ten list. I'll probably take out the Bengals and put the Packers in. I might do that. Or the Vikings and put the Packers in. Even though the Vikings did beat the Packers. So I, I'll, I'll acknowledge that. So maybe the Bengals put the Packers in. So y'all let me know what y'all think. Uh, appreciate y'all for watching. Hit the like button for me. Subscribe. Stay tuned. Stay blessed. Just accept it, part of God's plan.